I was reading an article in Witch the other day about how inher inheritance tax, the amount of money the government is getting for inheritance tax, has surged in the last couple of years. And I know that the, the angry and the disenfranchised out there will say, well, good, serves the rich people for being rich. They deserve to have everything taken away for them. Why should their kids get to live comfortably? And I know there are people out there like that because I've had the comments. But the reason for this surge is not because people are getting richer. It's because since the pandemic, the value of property has gone through the roof. And that is not necessarily rich people by any stretch of the imagination. The inheritance tax threshold is £375,000. And it can go up to £500,000 if you leave your home as a gift in your will to your children. But let's say you are the surviving member of a family. Let's say you are a surviving spouse and you've lived in your house for 50 years. You've probably not thought about how much the value has changed. And let's say that 10 years ago, your house was worth 250,000. Now it's gone up to 350,000. And let's say you have some assets. Let's say you have a private pension and other things and let's say that pushes that amount of money higher than the threshold. And it may be that you've decided in your will to leave your home to one of your children. Let's say you have three children. Two are comfortable, settled down, um, married kids, whatever they're doing. And the other one has always struggled because of the career choices they've made, or maybe they've run into problems. Maybe there are health issues. Maybe they are not mobile enough to work. And you want to gift your house in your will to that third child so that they have less to worry about. And let's say that after you die and your will is read, there is inheritance tax to pay. And the inheritance tax is 40%, so almost half, of everything that is above either that £375,000 limit or the £500,000 limit. Now, one of the caveats, of course, is that you have to pay the inheritance tax before the estate is released. So where are you going to find, let's say you've got to find £30,000 to release the estate and you don't have £30,000. You may have to take out a loan. You might have to sell your car. You might have to sell your own home. And it, it creates so many problems. So if I look at my own personal situation, the... Where my parents live has always been a low house value area. Not because it's a particularly bad area, but because it is classed as an estate. And that has always kept the prices quite low. But I was looking at Rightmove, Zoopla, for the area, or for their immediate area. And their house prices have risen by 70% in the last... 10 years and most of that will have been in the last few years since the pandemic. Now they live in the southeast so house prices are already higher but it means that and because my dad has always been very careful with money they've always worked hard they've saved money um, I think that they want the grandchildren to have some money as well and because my brother is already settled, he has his own home, 
he's married, they've got two incomes, all that sort of thing. My parents have said that they want me to have the house so that, you know, we can, we can both be secure as we get older. And then there will be extra cash that comes in. But I estimate that looking at the crazy way the house prices have gone, plus the potential of what they may have in the bank, means that the house will have to be sold. And my parents have lived in that house for almost 50 years. It's a house that is full of, absolutely full of memories. To me, it's a, it's almost like a memorial because I remember all my grandparents coming through that house. I remember us being in that house. My brother's, it's the only family house he's ever known before he moved out. We have dozens of pets buried in the garden. And my, my parents both inherited quite a lot of family heirlooms because they were both only children. And so we have a house that's full of not, not valuable stuff by any stretch of the imagination, but things that belong to the family tree. So there's furniture that belonged to my dad's great-grandparents. We have albums of photos going back to the 1860s. And if the house goes, I don't know where that stuff goes because there's nowhere for it. It'll have to go into storage because by the time, I think that by the time the house would be sold and the remains of the estate dished up, there wouldn't be anything, there wouldn't be anything left for me to be able to buy a home because house prices are insane now. The average house price now is £355,000. And lots of people can't afford that. And even if you just say, well, that's your fault for having parents that worked hard and were lucky that they bought well at a time when houses were really cheap, because I know that there are people who, well, how, how dare you be comfortable when the rest of us aren't, you know? What you've got to remember is that all that money is going to the government. They're sticking it in their pockets. It goes to the treasury. It goes to a government that is corrupt. It goes to a government that does not care about taxpayers. It does not care about the people who need help. Look at the DWP. Look at the corruption around COVID and the PPE scandal. Look at all these people who they don't protect. Look at the post office scandal. And you're saying, yeah, serves rich people for being rich, but you don't mind the government taking all the money. They're bankrupting our councils. Five councils have now gone bankrupt and there are loads on the verge of bankruptcy. And it's because the government's cut all their money, because there isn't any money. They reckon that in that last, last year, the government raked in 7.1 billion in inheritance tax alone and that this next next tax year coming in April it's going to be even bigger like much bigger in the 2020 2021 year they reckon that 27,000 estates were subject to inheritance tax and they reckon that by 2028 2029 it's going to be something like 43 and a half thousand estates so they're going to be looking at 14 billion goodness knows what they're going to be making and where is that money going it's going into government pockets it's going into wages it's going into them having their house remodeled it's not going to the people look at the state of the DWP look at the state of the education system Look at the state of our councils and tell me where that money is going, that they're basically taking away from taxpayers 
elderly people who have worked hard their whole lives to keep roofs over their heads and keep enough money in the bank to allow them to retire and then they want to hand that on to their children because no one's making a fortune anymore. Yes, you've got your 1%, but most people in this country are not wealthy. So to turn around and say, well, it serves the rich people right for having loads of money, they should have it taken away from them. Why should their kids have it easy? Because it's not easy for anybody. If you want to buy a home and the average house price is £355,000, where are you going to do that? And if you're one of the 800,000 people that started a business last year, you're not going to get a mortgage. Self-employed people don't get mortgages. and People on low incomes don't get mortgages. They don't get the, the protections. Rent seems to have no rules. Landlords still seem to be able to do pretty much what they want. The legislation isn't changing. You can't even get your rent counted on your credit score because for some reason rent doesn't count where mortgages does, which makes no sense whatsoever when you think how many people rent. It's all about screwing over the taxpayer. It's all about taking as much money as possible while giving as little back as possible. Look at the state of the NHS. Tell me where 7.1 billion in inheritance tax in the last tax year has gone. Because I don't know where it's gone. And if you can tell me where that's gone and how well spent that has been, I would love to know. I just needed to get that off my chest because the last thing you want is the government getting their slimy little hands on the money that your parents thought was going to be for you or that you thought you were going to be able to leave your children and your grandchildren because no one's getting an easy life anymore. And then you realise that Rishi Sunak gets it or Jeremy Hunt gets it or Keir Starmer gets it. These people do not deserve it. Just tell me how that is a just and balanced and honest way to run a country. Speechless. Absolutely speechless. And of course we know that they are petitioning to try and get inheritance tax abolished or raise the levels. But if the government's making billions and billions without having to do any work out of it, they're not going to get rid of that. That's such easy money for them. Why would they want to stop something that makes them so much money that they don't have to pass on anywhere? What else can I say?